impact, inspiration, passion, excellence, innovation. Because BGU is cutting edge, unraveling the secrets of life and humanity by conducting groundbreaking research, discovering solutions to the world's biggest challenges. Impact, because BGU is the agent of change with a myriad of people commuting into this vibrant ecosystem to study and work. Impact, because the moving here of thousands of IDF soldiers and officers caused science and engineering programs to boom, and the new North Campus doubles the university size with its academic and research facilities, Congress Center, and so much more. Passion, because work doesn't work without play, and campus life demands passion with a vibrant student body and amazing sense of community, cultural and social events on campus and off, parties, movie theaters, sports center, pubs, and restaurants. So much energy. Excellence. With three campuses, six faculties, six national institutes, and three affiliated hospitals. 20,000 enrolled students, a third of whom participate in advanced research programs. 6,700 employees, cooperation with universities throughout the world, and hundreds of overseas students from more than 50 countries. Innovation. Because with a high-tech park alongside campus, BGU is at the heart of Beersheba, making it Israel's cyber capital, a Silicon Valley of the Middle East where leading global companies come to leverage the university's expertise. With 2,500 employees, 60% of whom are BGU graduates. Because in this place, world-class research and global enterprise flourish, generating economic growth with more potential profit per dollar than any other investment in Israel today. Because a rising tide lifts all boats. Finally, inspiration and excellence together make Ben-Gurion University of the Negev the fastest growing research university in Israel, fulfilling the vision of Israel's first prime minister who said, the future of Israel will emerge from the Negev. Shalom, hello, and welcome everybody. It's wonderful to have you all join us virtually today for our exciting program, the sequel to last year's successful event, celebrating the remarkable two, climate saving science. I'm Noah Tishby, and I'm honored to be back hosting this remarkable event on behalf of Americans for Ben Gurion University, also known as A for BGU. I had a blast hosting the inaugural event last year and was thrilled to watch as Dr. Ruth K. Westheimer received her honorary doctorate from Ben Gurion University of the Negev, Israel's third largest university and one of the country's fastest growing research universities. As an Israeli American who was born and raised in Tel Aviv, I couldn't be more thrilled to join A4BGU once again on such an important occasion. If you're an Israeli watching this, you might recognize me from a number of TV shows in Israel and in the US. Others might be familiar with my advocacy work, Standing Up for Israel. My book, Israel, A Simple Guide to the Most Misunderstood Country on Earth, aims to correct misperceptions about Israel, its history, culture, and people. These are turbulent times around the world, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention the war in Ukraine. Our hearts are with those who are impacted. Learn how you can help A4BGU efforts to raise emergency funds for Ukraine students by using the QR code you see on your screen. The funds will support BGU's initiative to open its classrooms and dorms to students whose studies were cut short and its labs to researchers whose work has been terminated by the ongoing war in Ukraine. A4BGU has launched an emergency fund website to aid in ensuring that the Ukrainian students and scholars, refugees, will be able to continue their education. Now, if you aren't already aware, you'll soon discover A4BGU is a vital partner of Ben Gurion University of the Negev. I said it last year, and I will say it again. As a native Israeli, BGU makes me incredibly proud. The talented scientists, faculty, and students are leading the way towards a brighter and more sustainable future through climate-saving science. During last year's program, we honored Dr. Ruth. This year, we're honoring the planet. So, get ready for an action-packed program, which will give you an inside look at the latest climate-saving breakthroughs by BGU's leading scientists, 
Today's program will also feature a never-before-seen conversation with the filmmakers behind the upcoming documentary feature, Who are the Marcuses? The film tells the unbelievable story of the extraordinary family behind the biggest donation in Israel's history. As you can tell, we have a lot to look forward to for today's program. So, let's get going. It's now my privilege to welcome Gary DeBody, President of the Board of Directors of Americans for Ben Gurion University, to the virtual stage. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Celebrating the Remarkable Two, Climate Saving Science. My name is Gary DeBody, and I'm the President of the Board of Americans for Ben Gurion University. We are thrilled to have Noah Tishby back again to host our sequel, along with so many friends who are joining us today. In just a moment, you'll be hearing from remarkable scientists who will share some of their innovative work at Ben Gurion University, where academic excellence and world-class research are simply remarkable. The focus of their exploration ranges from building artificial coral reefs that save endangered marine life to developing techniques used in desert agriculture to overcome growing climate challenges to the world's food supply. All this is part of the School of Sustainability and Climate Change, a new school that brings together interdisciplinary, cutting-edge research that BGU has been leading for decades. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our generous sponsors and community partners who have joined us in our movement as partners in the remarkable. Together, we will solve the world's greatest challenges. We are so grateful for your help in making this event and our work possible. Now let's get started with a few words from Doug Sesserman, our CEO of Americans for Ben Gurion University, who is inspired by Israel's founding prime minister, David Ben Gurion's vision for the Negev, Israel, and the diaspora, and how that vision is being realized today by the university that bears his name. Please welcome Doug Sesserman. Thank you, Gary. I'm Doug Sesserman and I am privileged to serve as the CEO of Americans for Ben Gurion University. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the sequel to last year's very popular virtual event. While some of you are familiar with Americans for Ben Gurion University, others may be learning about us for the very first time. Some of you may even be asking the question, what does this organization do and why does it matter? Let me take a moment to explain. At A4BGU, we do three things, and all of them are in fulfillment of David Ben-Gurion's vision for the Negev and the future of Israel. First, we raise awareness for the remarkable Ben-Gurion University and the unique role it plays, not only as an educational and research institution, but also as the engine for growth for the entire Negev region. Second, we raise financial resources as the majority of philanthropic support to the university comes from the United States. And third, we run programs like our signature Zen Fellows Leadership Program that immerses the next generation of American leaders in both the Negev and BGU's vital work. Now, why does this matter? The truth is we're at a moment in time where we can't take Israel's future for granted. Now, are there challenges when it comes to Israel? Of course there are. After all, it's a dynamic and diverse modern state in a very difficult neighborhood. Unfortunately, too much time is spent today arguing about what's wrong with Israel and not enough time is spent focusing on what's right. That's where we come in. Our work at A4BGU transcends political differences. Our work is about higher education, BGU has some 20,000 undergraduate and graduate students representing diverse aspects of Israeli society. BGU also has 1,000 international students who take coursework in English from over 50 countries around the world. If you really want to create a cadre of young ambassadors for Israel, have them come study at BGU. Our work is about breakthrough science addressing some of the world's most pressing problems like cybersecurity, global health, and of course, climate change. Our work is about innovation. In fact, BGU was recently acknowledged once again as one of the top 50 universities in the world for entrepreneurship. Our walkable main campus in Beersheba is at the center of the ecosystem 
in planning efforts for Israel's first innovation district. Our work is about A4BGU's volunteer leadership, without whom we simply couldn't succeed. They give of their time, their talent, and treasure to ensure both the vitality of our organization and the university in Israel. Our work is about our dedicated professional staff, all of whom could work anywhere, but choose to work for us because they are passionate about our purpose. And finally, our work is about you, our donors and supporters. We understand you have many choices when it comes to charitable organizations, and we sincerely appreciate your support. The bottom line is that A4BGU offers a terrific opportunity for those of us in the diaspora to support and rally around the best accomplishments of modern Israel in a part of the country everyone can agree upon. In fact, we believe that BGU serves as a migdalor, a beacon of light emanating from the Negev desert. We also love to partner with other organizations. Please join us for future webinars and events to get a glimpse into our work and see how our content fits within the pro-Israel programming of your synagogue, church, or favorite local or national pro-Israel organization. Together, we can truly be partners in the remarkable. And we'd love to help you plan a visit, whether that be virtual or in person, to any or all of our three campuses in Beersheba, Stabokair, and Eilat. David Ben-Gurion once said that in Israel, in order to be a realist, you must believe in miracles. And what we build today in collaboration with this magnificent university may not be a miracle, but it is unquestionably remarkable. So join us. Be a part of a new way of supporting and caring about Israel. We call it a movement, a new sense of 21st century Zionism in America. It all started with David Ben-Gurion's vision that the future of Israel would emerge from the Negev. Now we know that the Negev is powered by BGU. And today, it all starts with you. Thank you, Doug. Now, get ready for a special treat. Who Are the Marcuses is a feature documentary slated to be released later this year. The film tells the story of Holocaust refugees Lottie and Howard Marcus from San Diego who donated the largest single gift to the State of Israel, a half a billion dollars to Ben Gurion University of the Negev. Ellen S. Marcus, their daughter, played an integral role in this historic donation and remains very involved to this day. What could be more compelling than a mystery story that explores our generation's most timely issues? Climate change and the responsibility that comes with wealth. This is their story. The population of the world is growing, rain patterns are changing, temperatures are rising, and our water needs are growing. Unprecedented, the contribution of the Marcus couple. A half a billion dollars. I just couldn't believe it. Who are they, and where do they get all that money? It's an incredible story. If you do one really important thing in your life and you make it count, you've succeeded as far as I'm concerned. April of 33, I realized at that point that my time in Germany was up. That consul general saved my father's life. Having survived the Holocaust, they felt very strongly that they wanted to support Israel. There are about seven and a half, eight billion people in the world today. Only about a billion of them have safe, secure, on-demand water. We're going to find ourselves in a world of real disruption and a world of refugee flows and disrupted economies and disrupted national securities that we are just unprepared for. This is where it all started, in the Israeli Negev desert. Make that place which now seems uninhabitable, habitable. The eureka moment for me was the awareness that Israel had answers to most of the world's water problems. So there's no need for the world to go down the track of water wars. The technology, the solutions are all there. That was why my parents chose water research. They felt that solving the Middle East water problem might help lead to peace. Hadishma.
Somebody always has to be the lead gift. Something like this will inspire donors of all stripes to do the same. Imagine if they do that. Things like Mr. Buffett's giving pledge, for example, is just wonderful. We are moving into the era of big philanthropy. Think of what the Marcuses did. Just think about it. It does require a compass in your mind that, that, that points true north. They decided to do something that wasn't getting done that they could make happen. Fascinating, right? I can't wait to watch this very important film. And now, I'm so excited for this next part. We're going to get to go behind the scenes and meet the filmmakers behind Who Are the Marcuses? Thank you, Noah, for that introduction, and I hope everybody enjoyed the trailer for Who Are the Marcuses? My name is Mark Bennett. I'm one of the executive producers of the film. It's an honor to be here and be a part of this event, celebrating the remarkable two, climate saving science. And I think it's interesting how it coincides with one of the major themes of the film. And today we have two of the filmmakers with us, Matthew Mishori, who is the director and co-writer of the film, and Brad Schley, who is one of the producers. So Matthew, could you tell us a little bit about what interested you the most about this story? Well, first of all, it's an honor to be included in this event. So thanks for having us. Uh, I think I was attracted to uh, the element of surprise. It's a story about Israel that is about innovation and not about politics. Uh, and it's a story about uh, water, uh, the environment and philanthropy. Uh, through the lens of this uh, remarkable and completely unexpected couple who made a really world-changing, transformative gift. What are your hopes that people will take away from uh, seeing this film? If anybody takes anything away uh, from seeing this film, it's that uh, problems that we have, vast problems that we have worldwide uh, in terms of water scarcity um, have uh, technological solutions that are available to us today. We can change the world today. And and Matthew, we've talked about this a lot, but I think one of the most important things that you stressed in this film is not only Ben-Gurion University's ability uh, to develop all this technology, but it was the idea of sharing it with the world, even in times of conflict. Can you talk a little bit about that? I was, I think as, as viewers will be, uh, inspired by the uh, you know incredible intuition of, of Howard and Lottie Marcus, which was that water had the potential to be the source of the wars of the 21st century, but water technology and water scarcity abatement uh, uh, equally uh, has the ability to uh, to be the source of conflict resolution in the 21st century, and that was the visionary uh, nature of their gift. I think it's a true testament to your storytelling ability, both of you that is, uh, by the people that uh, were willing to come be a part of this film, like President Herzog, uh, Warren Buffett, etc. Well, I should just say that these, you know, it, it's a very illustrious group of people and they don't, as much as I would like to say they do, they don't They don't turn out for Matthew Mishori and Brad Schley. Uh, we, we name dropped uh, Ellen Howard and Lottie and, and of course the story of their gift. And that's really what, what, what motivated and inspired Warren Buffett and Daniel Gordas and Micha Goodman and Yossi Siegel. In fact, Warren Buffett was the first person who signed on to do, do the film when we said that we were doing a, a film uh, inspired by the gift of the Marcus family. He said that, you know, they were very influential in his uh, deciding to uh, start the Giving Pledge. And he was looking forward to seeing us as soon as possible. One of the overall themes of this film is the power and potential influence of philanthropy. Could you just talk a little bit about the philanthropy uh, aspect of the film? It's worth saying that it doesn't take it doesn't take a Marcus-sized gift to move the needle. What I think Howard and Lottie's and Ellen's transformative gift can inspire is some level of participation by a great number of people who have the ability uh, to participate. Well, on behalf of myself and all the filmmakers, I would like to thank Americans for Ben-Gurion University for hosting this incredible event today and uh, including us in it. 
and I hope everybody will get a chance to see who are the Marcuses uh, on the large screen and the small screen uh, in the soon to be future. Thank you and uh, it was a real honor being here. Coming up next, joining us all the way from Israel, Ben Gurion University President Professor Daniel Shemovitz. A native of Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, Professor Shemovitz immigrated to Israel in 1984. As an exemplary olim who's really making a difference in Israeli education, he's a 2021 laureate of the prestigious Bonetzion Prize for Education and its contribution to feeding the growing world population. His scientific career has been characterized by novel and field-defining research on plant biology, biochemistry, developmental biology, and system biology. He has published numerous peer-reviewed research articles and served on the editorial board of several scientific journals. Now, let's welcome Ben Gurion University President, Professor Daniel Shemovitz. Dear friends across the United States, welcome to Celebrating the Remarkable. It's a pleasure to be with you here, albeit virtually. Ben Gurion University of the Negev is Israel's third largest university, a comprehensive university that has some of the most remarkable research going on not only in Israel, but in the world. Do you know that we produce one third of Israel's engineers? Do you know that Ben Gurion University of the Negev houses the National Autism Research Center, which collaborates with all universities in Israel and several of the leading centers around the world? We are Israel's only destination university. Students from all populations of Israel come from the north, the south, the center, to study at Ben Gurion University and to build their lives here at our unique campus in Be'er Sheva. There's something in the air. There's something in the water here at Ben Gurion University which inspires innovation. It may be because we were put here by a governmental decree to develop the Negev, to be involved not only in higher education, but higher education that changes society by educating different populations, changing their social mobility, and by building the industries that would build Israel. In 1963, David Ben-Gurion said the following, I imagine that researchers and scientists will sit in the gates of the Negev Desert, uncover its secrets, how to make energy from the sun, water from the dew in the air, and food from the unfertile soil to take advantage of resources which until now are being wasted. So was at a time when sustainability and climate change were not catchwords that everyone was talking about. Why was this important? Because it was essential for Israel that we learn how to live in our desert. And indeed, that's what we've been doing at Ben Gurion University for the past half century, learning how to live in our desert, how to survive in a hostile environment and make it livable for the future of Israel. Indeed, we've developed incredible water, energy, and desert agriculture technologies, which are influencing not only Israel, but the entire world. But something's happened over the past couple of years. Researchers and politicians from all over the world are coming here to Be'er Sheva to learn from our expertise, which was once a local problem, how to live in our desert. is really now shared by everyone. And it was in this backdrop that last year we founded Israel's first and largest school of sustainability and climate change. Our school of sustainability and climate change brings together researchers from six diverse faculties, over 25 different departments, to study the critical issue for our generation, how to live in an ever hotter world with dwindling resources. This is not only dealing with water and energy and food, this is also a problem of public health. This is a problem of public policy. This is a problem of engineering. And you know what? This is also an issue for literature. Yes, literature. Sustainability and climate change is influencing literature. Our Department of Hebrew Literature has had a seminar this year on climate fiction. How has climate influenced fiction? And how is fiction influencing the public perception of climate change? Yes, I've spent more time in the past year in Morocco and the United Arab Emirates than I have in North America because it's these countries that are interested in our expertise so that they can continue living also in their deserts. I'm positive that from our School of Sustainability and Climate Change, 
amazing things are going to come out, which will lead us to our second half century as a university. And we are primed to take our place as the leading university in the world in these fields. You'll be hearing a lot more about this later. I invite you all to come visit us here in Be'er Sheva and at our campus in Stabokir and at our campus in Eilat to learn more about the amazing things we're doing at Ben Gurion University of the Negev and join us, partner with us in the remarkable. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Shamovitz. Next up, we'll get to hear from some of BGU's leading scientists and remarkable pioneers when it comes to finding solutions to the world's greatest climate-related challenges. Meet Professor Yaron Ziv, head of BGU's School of Sustainability and Climate Change, who will give us an inside look at the first school of its kind in Israel. You'll also be hearing from a number of BGU's leading experts in agriculture technology, solar energy, marine biology, and more. Get ready to hear about how they're changing the world for the better, all the way from the Negev Desert. Coral reefs are declining all over the world. The need for alternative energy in the world. Globally, we understand there is a need for sustainable energy options. In the next 50 years, we will have an increase of about 2 degrees centigrade in temperature. temperature. Sustainability is not only about water, soil and earth. It's about psychology, philosophy, health, education and other disciplines that must be considered while we look for future solutions and trying to conserve our world for next generations. As an ecologist that works on conservation biology and ecological restoration, it was important for me to take part in the establishment of the new School of Sustainability and Climate Change in order to make an impact and create the change that we so much want at Ben Gurion University. The School of Sustainability and Climate Change is the first of its kind and the largest and most significant school in Israel that strives to integrate and bring scientists to work on an interdisciplinary approach regarding environmental issues and sustainability. If we want to combat climate change and ecological problems, we must work together all scientists in different disciplines. This is why Ben Gurion University established a school so scientists from different academic units will come up with interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approaches in all aspects of research, teaching and outreach inside and outside of the university. BGU master student Jigose Joy Uja traveled from Nigeria to study with us in the Negev Desert. What's she up to over here? My master's research is addressing the issue of sustainable treatment of human excreta by converting it to energy and plant nutrients. Globally, we all understand that there is a need for carbon sequestration and sustainable energy options, especially in the light of global warming and climate change. And secondly, WHO reports that over 2 billion people have drinking water sources contaminated with feces. I am very much invested in optimizing the agricultural value chain in Africa. But if we want to optimize it, then we need to know where the cost, how to cut down the cost, and maybe improve the processes. The best gift BGU has given me, lecturers have taught me to understand deep enough to disagree, not just to believe what they say. I believe it is from these points of disagreement that new innovations emerge. Professor Aaron Faith's work is pivotal when it comes to saving the world's vineyards under increasingly challenging climate. In the next 50 years, we will have an increase of about 2 degrees centigrade in temperature. This will cause a significant degradation of the wine quality worldwide. For instance, in Bordeaux, it is expected that the current varieties are not fit for the increase in global temperature. This means that one of the most important regions of winemaking will need to actually perform a revolution in the varieties being used in the industry and in the amount of wine produced by the industry. So as a plant biochemist, I try to solve the issue of 
degradation of aroma and fragrance in the grape berries and in the wine. We do this with a different array of strategies to enhance grape quality and to keep the plants healthy in their growth in the field. In the desert, we have one experimental vineyard with 30 different varieties of wine grape vine. My laboratory deals with desert viticulture, how to make wine out of the desert. Meet Dr. Nina Kamenaya, who is doing a remarkable work on alternative energy from the Negev Desert at Ben Gurion University. The problem we are aiming to solve is the shortage of sustainable energy. We are working to develop the new sustainable way of energy harvesting using solar panels and microalgae in bioreactors. We combine expertise of physicists, biologists and engineers in BGU in general and particularly in the School for Sustainability and Climate Change we work towards sustainable solutions for problems of the world. Now let's travel down to Eilat to hear from Professor Nadav Sheshar, who will be talking about artificial coral reef and the Red Sea. Coral reefs are considered the rainforest of the sea. They are very diverse. They have a great importance both for people, tourism, coastal protection, but also for marine life. They provide food and also provide a shelter for young stages. But coral reefs are declining all over the world. In Eilat, we had a storm which devastated nearly 50% of the shallow water reefs. In the Caribbean, we are having diseases that are devastating specific coral species. We need to restore the reef to its previous state, developing here methods to enable this restoration. We are looking at different ways to plant corals, to put fishes back into their marine life. We are trying to find localized solution to this problem. We take a coral like this, and then we 3D print it like that. And the fishes will prefer our 3D printed coral over the natural coral. The next thing we create is special structures on which corals will grow. We'll take a structure like this, have lots of corals covering it, and then we can get an area covered by corals five, ten times faster than it will happen on a natural process. We want to tackle global issues. We work with scientists just across the Gulf in Jordan, but we also trained professionals and NGOs in other places. I'm very proud that my students are restoring coral reefs in Honduras. We are studying the sensory system of marine animals. We try to understand how the world is perceived by their sensory system. We have found that the dolphins mention the signature whistle of the sea dolphins and dolphins that passed away within their eyesight. My private goal is that my daughter, who is now two years old, will be able to dive and enjoy coral reefs just the way I did. And I see it as my own personal responsibility to make it happen. We have the power to improve our planet. At BGU, we are creating sustainable solutions to tackle the planet's greatest challenges. So, let's have a toast to our sustainable future. And now, how about we meet one of BGU's outstanding alumni who is making an impact, creating a more sustainable future, shall we? Okay, Shimon Elkavitz, an alumni of Ben Gurion University, BGU, is the CEO and co-founder at Tomorrow IO, the world's only weather and climate security platform. During his 11 years serving in the Israeli Air Force, Shimon held multiple managerial and commanding positions and was exposed to the dramatic impact of weather on operations and lives. This experience sparked an interest with weather leading him to create a revolutionary new technology company. Take it away, Shimon. I grew up 
in the northern part of Israel in a small village, Mushav, family of farmers, poultry and uh, apples. I know my family was exposed to weather because weather is a big factor for everything related to agriculture. When I was 18, I joined the military like everyone else in, in Israel uh, and uh, joined the Air Force Academy. After a year and a half over there, I did my bachelor degree in uh, Ben Gurion University. I studied economics, uh, that was my bachelor. And I have to say that even though uh, I went there when I was about 19, even later on when I went to Harvard Business School, the fundamentals I got from Ben Gurion were very uh, solid and, and uh, took it with me. Everything I learned during that time over there is extremely useful for me today even. My service in the Air Force uh, taught me a lot about the challenges related to climate volatility, weather volatility as a result of climate change in the cockpit level. Data is changing all the time. And I was just shocked how manual the process is. Personally, I had several missions that I had to abort uh, due to weather-related challenges. Unfortunately, um, uh, colleagues died in weather-related accidents and that is what made me very passionate about weather. And eventually, uh, when I finished my service and moved to Boston, uh, I decided to start uh, Tomorrow.io. The slogan of our company is take control of tomorrow today. Weather events, the patterns we're seeing, are just becoming more frequent and more volatile in any given year. We're gonna have more wildfires in the West Coast, more flood events in the East Coast, more hurricanes in every hurricane season. What we're trying to do is to help countries and businesses put systems in place and adapt to that. The way we serve our customers is by providing them our software product. Five billion people live outside of radar coverage. So five billion people in the world do not have reliable flood alerts. Additionally, oceans and the seas are not covered with radar. This is a huge problem. When we tried to look at how do we bridge that gap, we realized that you cannot do it from the ground up. Then we realized we have to go to space. We're gonna launch about 30 satellites, uh, and uh, those satellites will be uh, in low orbit. That will provide close to real-time monitoring for every point on Earth. And the result of that will be that we will improve significantly weather forecasting globally, we will improve hurricane, cyclone, typhoons forecasting skills, and we'll create a real revolution when it comes to climate science. We work with airlines like Delta, United, JetBlue, we work with sports organizations like the NFL and the US Open Tennis. We work with supply chain companies, we work with utilities, uh, we work with NASA, with NOAA, with the US Air Force. We really try to help the agencies. We're not trying to replace governments, we're trying to augment. And the analogy we really like using in that context is the SpaceX analogy. When you go to Ben Gurion through the Air Force, uh, you really have a different experience than what the normal student may have. It's very military, but when you go to class, suddenly you're completely civilian. You get to meet the Ben Gurion professors. I had really great faculty. My biggest takeaway from my time at Ben Gurion University is really where my passion is, where my heart is. And the first opportunity I had, I just went after it. And, and started chasing my, my dream. Last year, during A for BGU's inaugural Celebrating the Remarkable event, I pointed out that I am an Israeli American for BGU because, like A for BGU's CEO, Doug Sesserman, I also believe the world is simply a better place because Israel is in it. There are many other important reasons to be an American for Ben Gurion University. The video you're about to watch gives you a sense of what the Americans for BGU movement is all about and how you can be a part of it. Take a look. Israel's founder, first prime minister, and namesake of our university, David Ben Gurion was a visionary who led by dreaming big. He proclaimed, it is in the Negev that the creativity and pioneering vigor of Israel shall be tested. Take a look at the remarkable innovations coming out of the Negev today. There is no question that David Ben-Gurion's vision is becoming a reality. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev is a leading model of higher education 
and multidisciplinary research. It is the engine fueling growth for the entire Negev region. And even more than that, BGU is positively impacting lives throughout Israel and around the world. We are Americans living in the diaspora, united by a common cause. At Americans for Ben Gurion University, we are building a movement that reframes the narrative about Israel from endlessly arguing about what's wrong to rallying around what's right, all manifested by the remarkable work of BGU and the wondrous potential of the Negev. Each year, Israel celebrates Ben-Gurion Day by honoring the life and vision of David Ben-Gurion. The holiday pays tribute to Ben-Gurion's legacy as a leader, statesman, and architect of the modern-day Jewish state. And today, we're thrilled to announce that Ben-Gurion Day will be coming to the USA, a day to celebrate the vision, wisdom, and courage of David Ben-Gurion. We invite Jewish and non-Jewish pro-Israel organizations across the country to join us. Let's celebrate Ben-Gurion Day in the USA, because together we can truly be partners in the remarkable. David Ben-Gurion Day is coming to the USA. I love it. So what are you waiting for? Come and join the movement. Check out the website, americansforbgu.org, and come be a part of something really special. Let's rally around all of the remarkable achievements coming out of Israel. There's so much great potential for the planet, thanks to the innovative thinking emerging from the Negev Desert. Let inspiration turn into action by joining the Americans for Ben Gurion movement. Be a part of it. I hope you enjoyed our program today. On behalf of Americans for Ben Gurion University, thank you so much for joining us today. Take care and stay safe. Please to send a complimentary DVD of this program to anyone who wishes to support JBS with a tax-deductible gift of $36, double chai, or more. Simply visit the JBS website at jbstv.org and click on the Donate button to make a donation by PayPal or your credit card. And please indicate the program for which you would like a DVD. Or you can send your tax-deductible check to JBS, Post Office Box 360, Stamford, Connecticut 06904. Or you can call the JBS Pledge Line at 833-MY-JBS-TV. That's 833-695-2788. And again, please remember to indicate which program you would like to receive with our compliments. We thank you for your kind support.